on ABC7 News at 6, a major breakthrough out of Washington on new gun legislation. A group of bipartisan Senate negotiators say they've reached a tentative agreement. A possible hate crime at a Bay Area library. Investigators say members of the Proud Boys stormed in when a drag queen was reading stories to children. There still continues to be deafening silence. Patches of fabric, each representing a life, helping to break the silence. The message AIDS activists put on display through the AIDS Memorial Quilt. ABC 7 News at 6 starts right now. Building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. Important steps forward toward gun safety is nothing short of political miracle. Democratic Senator Dick Durbin calls it a major achievement, a bipartisan proposal announced today on new gun measures. Good evening and thank you for joining us on mm -hmm. Dion Lynn. We begin now with developing news on what would be the most significant action Congress has taken on gun safety since the federal assault weapons ban was allowed to expire in the 90s. The proposal includes further funding for mental health and school safety resources, strengthening the federal background check system, a so-called red flag provision with the government supporting states to enact laws preventing people who show signs of being a threat to themselves or others from purchasing or possessing a firearm. It does not propose increasing the age to buy a gun. But for buyers under 21, the deal would require an investigative period to review juvenile and mental health records. ABC News reporter Ika Jabji has the initial response to the proposal. A